Okay, what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to properly inflate the cuff on your endotracheal tube after you've induced and intubated your patient. So after you've induced and intubated your patient, this is what you see. The endotracheal tube is sticking out of your patient's mouth, but what you can't see is the lungs and what's going on inside. So what I've done is got myself a lung or a reservoir bag. And if you know anything about anesthetic machines, your reservoir bag on your anesthetic machine mimics what your lungs are doing. So if your reservoir bag is inflated, your lungs are inflated. Likewise, if it's deflated, your lungs are deflated. I'm going to go ahead and insert my endotracheal tube into my lung. In the real world, it's in your trachea, but for this purpose, I have to put it into the lung. All right, I've written out instructions for you so that it follows the step-by-step -step what to do. So, induce intubate patient, attach breathing tube to patient, close pop-off valve, turn on your oxygen and slightly fill reservoir bag with oxygen. You're going to most likely turn it on somewhere between one and a half to two liters per minute. And that's what most patients are going to be calculated out as. You're going to be able to watch your manometer and you need to be able to fill your cuff with air at the same time. You're also going to be listening for any airflow coming out of your patient's mouth. Okay, so what I'm going to start doing is fill my cuff. If you have a large cup, you can start filling it about halfway before you really have to start worrying about anything. If you're not sure, start watching right away. But as you can tell, I halfway filled it and nothing is overflowing and your manometer is not moving yet. So I know I've not overdone it. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put my head, which would be next to the patient's head. I'm going to watch my manometer and I'm going to be able to squeeze my bag. So I'm going to start filling my cuff with air, and you can see my lungs are starting to fill. My bag has oxygen in it. I'm going to give it a second, and I'm going to inflate a little bit more. My manometer is still not moving. As soon as it starts moving, I'm going to start with the squeezing of my bag. It's going to take just a moment. Okay, as you can see, my manometer started moving, so I'm going to give it a squeeze, and I can hear air coming out of my bag. Now, you're going to have a harder time hearing it on the video, only because I've got an oxygen concentrator going at the moment, and it's going to be too loud for the recording. But what you hear is a very tiny noise, which you'll probably be barely able to hear me say, too but it gives you that impression on how light that is. So, squeezing my bag at 15, I don't hear it. When I go just over 15 centimeters of water, I can hear it. So that means I'm at a good level of inflation. I can go ahead and deflate my cuff and open up my pop-off valve. and now my cup is properly inflated. 